Hello and welcome to The Woolen Homestead. This is a knitting, spinning, hand dyeing yarn and pretty much anything else yarn related video podcast. My name is Tiffany and I'm coming to you from Michigan. You can find me on social media as The Woolen Homestead as well as my hand dyed yarn at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com. So good to see you guys again. Welcome if you are a new viewer and thank you so much for coming back if you are a returning viewer. I've got some goodies to show you guys this week and I will... Um, I guess start straight off with um, some finished objects. So last week I showed you my husband's birthday socks and I got them done this week. So my little charm is where I was at last time on the second sock and I was able to finish them up. So I'm very happy about these. Um, these are for him for his birthday, which is October. And yes, I made them, made them just in time. Um, last year I got his birthday socks done the night before. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game this time. And um, yeah, this is some yarn that I dyed. It's just a one of a kind. And yeah, I think he's gonna really like them. So um, when I finished the first one, he had tried them on, they fit just fine. So um, I shouldn't have no problem with fit. And then I did a 72 stitch um, sock for him, a two by two rib. Um, this is a slightly modified um, eye of partridge heel from the Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern. The only thing is that it didn't have um, any modifications for a larger size, um, like a, like a, uh, like I think the, the patterns make for like a 64 stitch count. And since his was 72, the, I kind of had to fudge it a little bit. Um, so I, next time in the future, I'm going to try and, um, find a pattern that has a heel that would, um, go with that. So, um, but yeah, I'm really happy with these. And then I just did a, a short wedge toe from the sock architecture book. Yeah, these are all set. So very happy with that. And, um, oh, I also thought that this would be a good time to show you guys, um, my box of socks that I have done. So I am, I, I wrote in my show notes, my box of socks because they aren't, um, they aren't all socks that I have knit this year. They are socks that I have finished this year and some that, um, have been not for me, which in order to qualify for the box of socks knit along, um, which is through the Yarn Chasm uh, podcast, if you haven't heard of that. And uh, you have to knit them for yourself and all within the same year. So, but I thought I'd show you guys what I've got done. Um, first, I guess I will show you my box. And this is one that I got at Michael's, which says, never stop dreaming on it. Oh, I don't remember what that says. Oh, uh, the best is yet to come. But yeah, these are pretty darn cute. Um, I really like this box. And this is kind of what ended up happening for me last year. I just put in all the socks that I've done. So let's see. My first ones that I finished this year were these ones. And these were my hand spun socks that I did for my Christmas Eve cast on in 2016. And yeah, I, oh, I love these. I can't wait to wear these. I did wear them a couple times um, after I made them. But um, I decided I'd put them in my, put them in my box. because They're so soft. And then... See, I think I finished these ones next. Now these ones were actually started in 2017 and finished in 2017. So um, these are spun right round and the sock pattern is um, vanilla is the new black. And so it has that really cool heel on it. So yeah, these are really nice. And these are um, snappy, I think it was snappy sock base, which is a Cordydale. Really, really nice. And then my other pair that I've done are these guys, which these I started last year. And these are um, Mint Rain hand dyed yarns in the Spring Dreams colorway. And then the heel I used um, just a Knit Pick Stroll, which I love how those matched up. I mean, you cannot even tell. It's awesome. So I was really happy about that. But I really like these. And this is on her, um, oh, which base is this? Tough Sock, I believe. Tough Sock base. So yeah, so those are my socks um, that I've finished this year. So I've got three. <laughs> so I'm needless to say, I'm not going to be officially participating in the box of socks in the long, but um, it's still fun to just, you know, see what you've made in a year and just kind of have them in one spot. So I think I'll probably just keep doing that because it's kind of fun. Um, so that is uh, Ethan's socks. And then um, I guess I'm going to go on to works in progress. So, um, this is what I've been working on the most this week is my Excuse Me Shawl by Stephen West. And it's kind of a mess 
this down here. This is where I'm at. So I actually got quite a bit because in brioche I have to work the row twice. Um, so where my little marker is at, which there's my little narwhal marker from Sugar Tots on Etsy. And yeah, so I added in my next color. And this is Aurora, which is my hand dyed yarn. And this is on my MCN base. And oh my gosh, can I just tell you how soft this is? And it's so, so luxurious. I'm really loving working with this. And I'm really loving how it's knitting up in here. I love it. And I love how it's playing with Life is the Bubbles. That's what this colorway is. And I do have both of those colorways in the shop currently. Um, I do have Aurora on MCN, as, as well as Life is the Bubbles on MCN and Sturdy Sock. But yeah, I love it. This is a really fun knit. And then um, this is my, the wrong side, and it's just a, a dark, one-of-a-kind color that I dyed. Which is hard to see in the lighting right now, but yeah. And then here is Life is the Bubbles. That's from when I um, I had made socks. I'd started some socks with this, and I ripped it out. So I just wound it on the um, outside, and then I pulled from the center so that I wouldn't have to deal with wonky yarn in this shawl. So yeah, that is um, the Excuse Me shawl. I'm using also size four. I'm using size four looking needles, and I'm really loving the driftwood for this project a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's on a 40 inch cable. Um, oh, the shawl is originally written for DK weight and I'm using all fingering weight. So then I just, I just picked the size four. I think the original pattern calls for a size six. But yay. This is really, really making me happy. So, and then I've got my next color I'm going to be using is um, Happy Little Narwhal. I also have some of this in the shop too. And once again, if you haven't, um, if you're a newer viewer, this um, uh, this shawl is going to be knit with all of my hand dyed yarn. So I'm just, I'm really excited. This is the first time I've done that. So it's going to be next. And I'm just going to do like varying sizes of stripes throughout. Originally, I was just going to do like, like, let's see how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five colors. I was just going to do like five big chunks, but I think I'm just going to like stripe them. Um, this is Party Poodles which I um, knit up a little sample of this, just like a cuff on a sack. Um, I don't currently have this colorway in the shop, but I really, I will eventually again have it, um, but I just really like it. So yeah, you can see those pretty, pretty colors. I wish it wasn't so dark, there we go. Yay! It's a little overcast today, it's been raining, so hopefully the lighting kind of works for me. Um, and then Cherry Blossom is going to also be in there. So, yeah, um, that is the Excuse Me shawl. Um, oh, my next project is my birthday sock cast on, which I haven't showed this in forever. So, uh, I think a month ago I finished my first one. And this is what it is. By the way, side note, I've just been having these hang on the blockers. Um, I usually have my sock blockers like hanging right over there on the wall. And um, I just, when I'm done with a sock, I just put on the blocker just because, I don't know, <laughs> just because it's kind of like a way to show it off and just kind of fun to look at. But um, these didn't get like an official block and I'm still going to like wet block them and soak them. Um, but I'm pretty surprised with just, you know, sitting on the blocker what it does. It's kind of nice. But so this is a uh, sock blank and it's by Nitty and Color. And this is what it looks like. I love this. So this was my um, birthday cast on that I did on my birthday back in May. And it's my first sock blank and it's just too fun. Um, and then the heels are using this, which the cake is all messed up, but this is um, Knox Yarn Company in the Reverie colorway on her sparkle base, Mrs. Delina. So last night, um, last night I just cast on the cuff because I wouldn't say I really had like second, uh, sock syndrome on it. I just, I don't know. I just kind of didn't think about it. Um, 
it wasn't that I didn't want to do it. It just wasn't really a priority, I guess. Um, so last night I was thinking since I got Ethan's done, I should probably um, get another sock, you know, ready to go to have um, just to like grab and go because it's just a vanilla sock. But here is <laughs> here's what I got done last night. So it's just like four rows, but I cast this on while we were watching Westworld really, really good. I don't talk about TV shows too often, but, um, I just don't think to do it, but yeah, we've been watching that. It's on HBO and, um, it's really good. We have, uh, we got like the HBO, um, little subscription through Amazon just while, um, Game of Thrones was on. So we still got it for like another month. So before, before we'll have to get, we're going to, before we're going to, um, unsubscribe to it, but which Game of Thrones, but you guys knew I was a big fan of that too, but yeah, love it. Um, so, and then that sock is just a 64 stitch. Um, and then I usually use nine inch circulars after I get past the cuff. I don't like to do a cuff in the nine inch circulars because I just think it's kind of a pain to try and purl with them. Um, but it can be done, obviously. But uh, yeah, so I just do them with DPNs. And then I have a new cast on, which is for, which it's actually going to segue fantastically into the knit along because it's for the, my favorite color is October Cal. And first of all, how perfect is this bag for the fall knit along? <laughs> this is a little bobbins, um, little sock bag that she makes. These were from last year and I just cannot handle that sheet. It's too stinking cute. And then there's this little, um, leaf on the back. I love it. So this was, um, she had made a couple of bags for the woolly thistle and she sold them, um, uh, Claire sold them through here, uh, through, what am I trying to say? Danny of Little Bobbins, uh, made these bags, sent them to Claire in the U.S. <laughs> through the, from the Woolly Thistle, and she sold them on there. <laughs> words, words, can't. Okay, so, funny side note, um, I am known for not being able to say, like, phrases very well. It's, like, a thing. I don't know what it is, but, like, I cannot, I cannot, uh, get them right ever. And so, um, it's, like, a running joke between, like, um, my family here and then like my coworkers, we call it Tiffy versus words. Cause it's just, it's a disaster all the time. <laughs> so, but without further ado, here is my, um, fall cast on and I am doing a sock head hat. So this is all I got done so far, but this is in Brooklyn tweed loft and it's the wood smoke colorway. And this is so cool. So What's neat about Loft is it's a woolen spun, and so it's, uh, it's a woolen spun yarn, so it's just, it is really lofty, so it's, it's definitely aptly named, but you can see, um, just the yarn is just, I don't know, it's very airy and beautiful. I love it. Um, I have not had any problems with breaking yet. Um, I'm not a very tight knitter. I'd say if anything, I'm a loose knitter, but, um, I don't think I'm really, you know, on the extreme end of that either, but, um, it's been very, very lovely to work with. Very enjoyable. And then I've got my little Butterbeer Progress Keeper on there from Suka Suka Miniatures. It's so stinking cute. I just thought that would be too, too perfect for a fall project. So, like I said, that is a great segue into the knit along, uh, segment. So the, we have two knit alongs going on in the group right now. And the one that just started on September 1st is the My Favorite Color is October Cal. And um, the hashtag is My Fave Color is October Cal. So if you want to post on um, Instagram, you can just hashtag it and I can find it there and um, see what you guys are working on. You can also share it in the Ravelry group, which is the Woolen Homestead on Ravelry. And um, yeah, that is um, basically the, the premise of it is did anything fall. Um, I'm also allowing works in progress, so it doesn't have to be cast on since September 1st. Um, and yeah, just anything that you think is fall. Mittens, hats, shawls, sweaters, cardigans. Um, it could be for babies, it could be for adults, um, mitts, anything. So also I wanted to mention, I kept forgetting to say this, but um, crochet is also totally allowed and encouraged. If you want to crochet something, Definitely. I never am um, against crochet for any of my little longs. Um, that's always welcome. So I just wanted to make a quick mention of that because I'd for been forgetting to. So yeah. And then, um, also if you use the, um, 
my colorway, my favorite color is October, which is this one, which this is the last stain that I have in the shop right now. This is on my Merino cashmere nylon base. Um, but if you use this, um, you get double the entries. So yeah, very exciting. And, um, there will be a Daisy Girl and Company bag, um, which I want to take a picture of and put it in the Ravelry group so you guys can see that. But um, I showed that last week. It's a little project bag um, that's got some Halloween uh, fabric on it. And she has a coupon code going on in her shop, which is favecolor15 for 15% off in her Etsy shop. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll be giving away a skein of my hand dyed yarn from the shop. So very very exciting um and the other knit along that's going on is the basket of mittens cal it's a year-long knit along um use the hashtag basket of mittens cal and um same thing just knit mittens um they don't have to be for you they can be for gifts they can be for um you know for you for your husband for your mom you know whatever and um and just post them in there and yeah we're gonna um i'll be giving away a prize um at the end of the year for that and I just have an FO thread, so you don't have to put it all in like one giant um, post or anything because um, there's no minimum requirement for how many you have to knit um, or crochet. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for knit alongs. Um, next, I'm going to talk about spinning, which I haven't had a spinning segment in a while. So, um, okay, at the Michigan Fiber Festival, I was totally in a pastel mood and I had shown before um, that I had bought two of these little bats, which they're just little one ounce bats and I love them. See that sparkle? Oh, love it. And it's just so pretty. I just think it's beautiful. And oh, I can't remember exactly what the blend is, but I know there's alpaca. Um, I'm guessing that's Delina or Angelina. I don't, I don't know the difference. Um, and then I think it was lamb's wool is in this so it's incredibly soft and I just love this so I started the other one last night and I finished it and here's what I have love this sparkle this is the first time I've spun anything with sparkle in it and I just love it so I spun from the pink down to the purple and then what I'm going to do is um, spin this one uh, onto this bobbin and then I'm going to ply these both um, or it'll be one whole bobbin. I'm going to apply this bobbin um, onto just like a plain white cream color that I have, um, which I showed before, and I forgot to grab it out for this um, for this podcast, but it's just going to be like a plain, kind of like this color, actually. It's very similar. It's not white, but it's very creamy. And, yeah, so excited. And now, it, like I said, it's only, um, you know, these are only one ounce each, so it's going to be a small project, but I'm thinking just like a really cute cowl, it's just so soft. I just think that'd be really nice to have. Um, and then I wanted to mention how I spun this is short, uh, short backward draw with letting twist in. So it's more of a, like a woolen draw and, or draft. And, um, yeah, so I'm just, Oh, I'm just really excited. It was, um, it was a little bit difficult for me because it's a draft that I've never, done before or at least I practiced it just a little bit before but I wasn't very familiar with it so it's very like thick and thin throughout different spots but um I think that's going to kind of give it some charm having the thick and thin spots so I just decided to go with it instead of like stopping and practicing some more um I didn't mind that it was inconsistent so yeah I'm really really excited about that um oh and this is from um Little Patch Alpacas and she I don't think she has an Etsy store she has a website and it's Megan, and um, I love her stuff. I got another one of her braids. Um, it's a merino, and it's just gorgeous. She has beautiful stuff, so go check her out. Um, and she's also Little Patch Alpacas on Instagram as well. So, yeah, um, that's all I've got for spinning. And then um, next up is shop news. So next up is shop news, which you can find my Etsy shop at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com, and that's where I sell my hand-dyed yarn. So, um... I guess as far as updates, um, there's probably not going to be a lot coming into the shop for a good couple of weeks, maybe not till the end of the month. Um, I went to go purchase more yarn and my supplier was out. 
so um, it's back ordered so it's already like you know bought and paid for um, I just have to wait until it can come in so but I have exciting news um, I got like a little trial size of um, singles yarn so I'm gonna be hopefully getting a singles base and then um, we can have that and yeah I'm just excited I think like the really bright colors um, that'll just be really fun to to see on a singles base and maybe do some brioche with it um, but yeah other than that um, like I said there's probably just not gonna be anything new coming um, till the end of the month except there is a collaboration that I'm doing but um, I'm gonna talk more about that later um, and so that that will be coming that's already done though but um but yeah so yeah just a new base will be coming and then um, like I said towards the end of um, September I will um, might not even be till the beginning of October just depends once it uh, ships so but yeah um, so I will show you guys what I do have in the shop currently I have uh, life is the bubbles and this is on my sturdy sock base and it's just all these pale blues and teals purples yellows pinks speckled all throughout and um this colorway um was deemed from the little mermaid movie so it just kind of made me think of little mermaid and um you know just made me think of under the sea and everything so <laughs> that's what um sebastian yells in under the sea <laughs> um so this is also in the shop i've got two skeins of this this is back to the fuchsia this was my newest colorway which is lots of pink and then just tiny little bits very lightly speckled and it doesn't look like it here but um I can show you the whole hank it's not as heavily speckled as I usually do so it's still pretty speckled but <laughs> just not as much as usual so yeah this is back to the fuchsia So that's going in my Speckle and Pop um, Mystery and Along from Stephen and West. That's going in there. And um, like I said before, I have um, my favorite color is October on Merino Cashmere Nylon. And yeah, I love this. This is like just embodies fall to me. And then I also feel like this is a fall colorway. Um, this is Blueberry Crumb Cake. It just it's got lots of blues and browns and then tiny bits of yellow in there it just makes me think of cozy things and I picture like blueberry waffle socks in this or maybe a shawl I just really really enjoy this and I've also got nebula which is lots of purples which I love purple purple and pink all the way so it's on my sturdy sock base there's my card <laughs> my little yarn tags yeah, I'm gonna open up this one too. This one's it's got my tag on there, so it's not gonna be. I can't open it all the way, but you can kind of see all of the how the colors play together. So all that pink, I love it. So yeah, that's Nebula, and then I've got County Fair Sunset. All these pale pinks, purples again, and uh, some kind of like a red, almost like a blush color in there. And this is Life is the Bubbles on Merino Cashmere Nylon. So you can kind of see um, how the different bases take dye differently. It's really interesting, I think. I mean, you can tell that they're the same colorway, but it's just different. So, yeah. Also got Nymphadora Tonks, which is one of my favorites. I love this. This is going in my mystery knit along um, speckle and pop shawls. Well, I love this part right here. I love that. There we go. Now it's kind of focusing. But yeah, love it. And then I've also got Melisandra, which if you watched last week, this is the colorway that I used to knit that little um, puppy dog sweater for my coworker. So um, this, however, this dye lot doesn't have as much of like the orange bits in it. It's very red. And I'll take this one apart too so you can see it. 
So yeah, lots of red and then bits of black in there and plum and I also think of this as being a very, very fall color way, like a barn, you know, red barn, things like that. And then I've got a couple of skeins of Happy Little Narwhal. This is one of my favorite colorways. I just, I love the brightness of it. it just makes me happy. And I've also got Half Blood Prints on my Merino Cashmere Nylon base. Bits of yellow in there too. It's got a lot of grays. It's actually a dark, dark gray. And Lucene's. And then got Aurora on my MCM base. But this pink, I love this pink. It's one of my favorites too. They're all my favorites. I love, I love color in case you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> it's so hard to pick a favorite color, but purple and pink for sure, but I love all the colors. So yeah, um, other than that, nothing um, really crazy has been going on. It was Labor Day weekend. And um, I worked most of it. I worked Saturday and then Sunday I had a short shift. And then Monday, I generally have Monday, Tuesdays off anyways. So I still had it off, which was really nice to, to actually have Labor Day off because usually I work it. Um, but uh, my husband and I, we went up to um, Sanford, which is about 20 minutes north of us. And he fished and I sat in the camp chair and I knit and... It was beautiful. If you saw my Instagram stories, um, I put my view on there and it was just gorgeous. Um, just surrounded by trees and the sound of the water. Now the only bummer was that we're, it's really close um, to uh, the, the road. It's really close to the road. So there was the cars, but, um, but it wasn't crazy busy. So it wasn't too bad, but it was so relaxing. And um, if you watched um, earlier this year, um, this summer, we had tried to go camping and then our car broke down and it was, it was a big, uh, a big thing. And, um, that was like one of the things we were going to do was he was going to fish and I was going to knit while we were there. So we kind of felt like we got that back, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, really, really enjoyed that. I did some reading and super relaxing. <laughs> um, and then we kind of came home and I did some spinning and it was a really relaxing day yesterday. It was awesome. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, Nothing, nothing new is going on, not that I can think of. And yeah, so I guess that's all I've got for you guys. Um, come join the Ravelry group and the Knit Along if you'd like to. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. I would love that. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.